Thanks for tuning into the show. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. And let me explain. Anchor is a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And the best part about it, it's absolutely free. Download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. Hello and welcome to Upper Discussion with Swarthy Communique. I am your host, Swarthy Communique, and we're here for Upper Discussion. I know I haven't been here for a couple of months. I've been laying low, studying up on, you know, some things, researching, um, getting in tune with my spirituality, you know, because now is the time to figure out, you know, where you stand in this life, what's going to be your ultimate mission here on the planet. So I just been going on a little journey, you know, studying astrology and other cultural practices of my ancestors, the indigenous, you know, the Moors, um, et cetera, et cetera. I know it's a lot of names for things and people like to fight over who is what. But I know at one point this is something that we all can agree on that um, we are indigenous, <laughs> To, especially to the Americas. Um, a lot of us can agree that we were here already. So that's one step in moving forward toward um, unification and um, basically reclaiming our culture, our lands, um, et cetera. Okay. Because first we must all agree to an extent, you know, you still got some people out there fighting and debating, you know, Hey, we're this, we're that. Look, it don't matter right now. What matters right now is that we find our culture and get under our vine and fig tree, you know, like Prophet um, Noble Juali said, and we find where we belong in this world and our ancestral roots. So with that being said, um, this is just a random podcast. You know, I haven't been with you guys for a minute. I felt like talking today. You know, I'm sitting up here going, watching um, the news. I normally don't watch the news because it's full with a lot of negativity And I normally don't watch the news, but today, you know, I happen to recap on some things, you know, because I I haven't watched it for a minute. And I'm looking at, you know, this coronavirus thing extending out and how they found vaccines and how it's a sister who basically, you know, came up with the cure for the vaccine. Now, I'm proud, you know, that one of our people, you know, happened to discover the cure for it. But the problem I have with this is. That honestly, I'm just speaking my my true feelings of how I feel. You know, it's it's not it's not I'm being negative or trying to be you know look down on you know our people because um, I'm not. But reading history and um, according to the past, our own people would do us in for the sake of um, our adversaries, our our enemies. And I'm not saying that, you know, we really have any enemies. I'm just saying that it's a lot of miscommunication and lies and things that are um, being put out there and not being explained um, correctly to the people who, who needs to hear this news about our culture and about who we really are. So me personally, I'm not really excited about the vaccine because I feel like as though the people responsible for the virus, you know, already created the virus and they created the virus and put it out there to harm others. And me, I don't believe in harming others. And they put the virus out there in the air. I mean, it's pretty much a man-made drug. They're saying it came from over here or over here, at the end of the day, a scientist created that drug to do harm to people. And that's that's how I view it and look at it. 
you know, um, me, like I said, um, I'm just looking at the whole picture overall. And I don't trust what's happening. I just don't. I mean, I'm sorry you could flaunt in my face. You could tell me, oh, it's different this time. But like I said, history repeats itself. And I know my ancestors who were here in the indigenous Americas back then were given supposedly in history that was written. I, see, that's the thing. I can't, I don't even know if half the stuff we, we, we learned is even valid because I've been doing so much research and studying about our culture and our people and how they, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard to say, you know, but according to their history, and when I say their history, I'm talking about the Europeans' history, what they rewrote in the books. They gave the um, the natives um, blankets uh, filled with smallpox and disease. Okay? That, number one, that's cruel. That's just, that's evil. That's some evil shit. You mean you're going to come to a land where people were helping you supposedly, and this is by your books that I read even coming up in school. They came over here from their place of, 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 of ancestry, Europe. They came over here to the North Americas and the South Americas and the surrounding islands and Canada's. They came over here to these places. You seen that they were people already living there in these places. But because I've been doing research, not in their books, but outside, uh, well, in the books, but not the books that they decided to put out in circulation to the public. And you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been reading some of their hidden stuff that they hid from the public. Cause see, they told history, but they told history the way they wanted to tell it. They didn't tell the truth about everything. That's why it's important and imperative that everyone does do research for themselves to see what exactly are you being taught or what exactly did you miss? Because at the end of the day, they came over here and basically see people on the land and decided to take the land due to what the Holy Pope or the, the Pope said. The Pope said that they're not worshiping our God. Therefore, we're allowed to take their lands under so-called doctrines of discoveries and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, who gets a right to make that decision? And if my God is not your God, then who gave you that right to come to my ancestors' land and kind of take their stuff? But let me not stray off the topic because there's plenty of time to dig into that. I'm talking about hypothetically, you you come to someone's land and they, they show you hospitality, you know, they help you survive, they look out for you, and in return, you give them smallpox. Blankets filled with smallpox and flu and disease. To kill these people off who were never exposed to these diseases. See, before y'all came to this country, honestly, before y'all came to this continent, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm kind of getting over a little cold. I don't think it's the Rona, no. Like I said, every year I go through this every single year. But now all of a sudden coronavirus is here. A cough, a sneeze, everybody looking at you like they want to murder you. You're about to be murdered. I cough or I sneeze, I get them, them eyes get big quick. Sure, I caught my son doing that the other day. I was in here chilling and I, I sneezed or I coughed or something. And if looks could kill, the look he gave me, we both had to laugh. I said, why are you looking at me like that? You know what I'm saying? We both had to laugh because it's like we are extra freaking paranoid now over a cough or a sneeze that we would normally do on a daily basis since we were kids. So this is what I'm saying. This is, is is psychological fuckery right here. But like I said, let me not stray off topic. They came here and gave us blankets with smallpox in it. And we didn't need vaccines before then. They brought disease from Europe. The Black Plague was in Europe. Let's be honest. Europeans, no, honestly, it ain't 
It ain't coming at you being smart, but let's be honest. Y'all brought disease and pestilence with you and roaches and mice and bed bugs and all that stuff. You brought it with you when you came over here. You brought that stuff with you on the boats that y'all came over here on, you know, and and, and that's why now we're going through this because it's, it, it's, it's you all. You need to keep up on your hygiene practices. The fact that I go to Walmart and they tell me. Now, when I go into Walmart to go get something, I hear on this big loudspeaker and don't forget to wash your hands for at least 20, 20 seconds or, 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 or under, under, you know, hot water, use a soap and water. I'm like, bruh, who needs to be told this stuff? That's common damn sense, man. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, really? What the heck? Are you serious? You're telling me to wash my hands for, and I've been doing that since I was a kid. Mama would smack you upside the head. You didn't go in the bathroom when you came out from playing, you know, and washed your hands and got the germs and cooties off. So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> how it, it, Other people need to be told how to keep up hygiene. The Moors taught the Europeans how to bathe. They weren't taking baths back then. They would just rack up on perfumes and and wear handkerchiefs and shit and just be funky as fuck, you know? So now it's just to the point where, you know, we all kind of following behind this man, this European, their ways. We have fell into their ways and we have forgotten the ways of the ancestors. We're so dependent on their ways that we just totally scratch our ancestors way of living and life out the picture, even though they survived all them years until these Europeans came over. And I'm just being real. It's not no hate speech. We got to get to the real. We got to stop hiding and being offended and in our egos and emotions, because I've been studying astrology. At the end of the day, we one big Zodiac family, no matter what race, color, creed, religion, whatever. Don't matter. We're family, all of us. But we all got to keep it real with each other and understand, look, yeah, I don't like confrontation. You don't like confrontation, but we have to get to some type of agreement in order to remedy the problem. And I see the problem as clear as day. The problem is ancestral lands. Everybody who belong to where they belong need to go back to where they where their ancestral line is at or lineage so that we can have our space, so that economics will be good. You know what I'm saying? Resources. But we all know the resources and economics come from the, from, from the, from the Americas. We know everybody eating off the Americas because you think about it, the Americas is Africa. And everyone's eating off Africa. It's the far west Africa. We got Africa, you know, that's in the center. And then we got the far west Africa. But we know everybody eating off Africa, period. Everyone, Europe, Asia, all y'all all eating off Africa at the end of the day. Or it ain't even Africa. I keep on. I mean, shoot, I, the names have been changed so many times throughout history. It's just hard because a lot of people identify these spots by different names. What we have to learn how to do is come into agreement on something. And just agree. Okay, we're going to call it this. Just like a bunch of people who made up history. And um, Napoleon uh, Bonifat, I think, said this in one of his quotes. History is basically uh, made up, you know, made up uh, uh, stories by, you know, it's fabricated. I don't know the quote exactly, but I remember reading it up. But it is. It's, it's a bunch of lies. Or stories, not lies, but stories that they picked out little pieces and all meshed together. That's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much, if you want to call it that, that yeah, that's pretty much uh, history. So it's very important that you, the individual person, the listener out there, take the initiative to get off your ass, get into a book. Research, study etymon, study word magic, because it's all magic, all this stuff at the end of the day. And I'm going to have many more podcasts coming with the knowledge that I 
been obtaining by reading and just researching these things. Because I'm a, I, I'm a person of information. I like to help people. I like to give people information. I like to heal people. We all have specific jobs and duties that we're here to do on the planet. But different aspects of my chart, I also like to, you know, entertain and do stuff like that. So I have to find a way to take all these wonderful traits and personalities and merge it into one to make it work for me. That's the goal. Bringing everything together, all my entertaining qualities, my educational qualities, my everything, and merge it all together just to give you the information because that's me. That's who I am. So people's big mission in life is to find themselves. It's very important that you look for yourself. It's very important that you find yourself. Okay? Because at the end of the day, if you don't find out who you are, and you don't know who you are, they're going to give you a character. And you might not like that character. Get what I'm saying? It's your choice to choose. So they got the vaccine coming out. They're pushing for it. I'm up here watching the news. They up there talking about, okay, bye. In February 2021, we'll probably predict about 450,000 corona. Virus deaths. And I'm like, well, how the fuck? I went on Facebook and I said, how do y'all predict this stuff? Is y'all going to a fortune teller? Did y'all talk to Cleo? Because I'm not getting how y'all guesstimating these numbers. How do you even know? And when you talk, study of word magic and word power, excuse me. Because I do, I'm getting over a cold. It's not the coronavirus, it's a freaking cold, okay? I have to put that out there again because it's an idiot out there that would probably be like, she got the Rona. I'm like, she got the Rona. Somebody out there is stupid like that. But anyway, I digress. You telling me that you could predict 450,000 deaths, but you can't predict 450,000 um, everyone just getting better. It don't make sense to me. I noticed that the news is strictly based on fear, 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 panic, fear, 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 fear. That's why I don't watch this bullshit because it's bullshit. You know, you manifest things with your mind and the way you think. So if you constantly stuffing news down your brain, like a lot of these older people do, I'm sorry, nothing against the older people, but y'all, especially them, them, y'all be into that news. My mama included. They be into that news. And all that negativity they pushing into your brain. You're manifesting your own sicknesses. You're manifesting your own shit. Because you're accepting what they're telling you. Instead of saying, nah, I'm going to eat right. I'm going to get my diet straight. You want to sit up there and go grab a whole muffin pork chop. And suck on that joint. And be like, I'm I'm, 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 I'm a die, I'm I'm going to die one day, ignorant and shit. I'm like, hey, I don't argue with people no more. I'm a peacemaker. Hey, I'm a life path too. I was reading up on numerology. I'm a life path too. I'm a natural peacemaker. I just want world peace. I want everybody to get along, you know, everybody just to coexist, get along. Everybody love one another. Hey, we all one family, one love. That's all I want. That's all I ever wanted. Ever since a child. That's all I ever wanted. All this fighting and stuff was social engineered. All that stuff I used to talk on my on on my pages on Facebook and things just in case somebody want to bring up my past. Like, oh, you was like this. She was like that. Yeah. In my ignorance, I was dumb as hell. Dumb. But the more I get educated, the more knowledge I get, the more wise wisdom I, I gain. And the more I deal with the divine mother and energy in its, in its, in its, in a spiritual form, the more I become enlightened to my faults and want to make a correction in society to uplift fallen humanity. Cause at the end of the day, y'all all my brothers and sisters, no matter what your color, I don't care what your color is. We all related some type of way. Okay. So the problem is, is we do really need to get down to the nitty gritty of who, what we need to, what we need to solve out, you know? And I don't like the way the news, because I said I barely watch the news, but the little bit I'm watching, they already had the agenda of inoculating the indigenous 
so-called black people, a.k.a. Moors, because we're Moors. I mean, I'm not going to argue it. You could say we're not fine, but I'm going to identify us as Moors. OK, we're Moors. So I'm not too comfortable with the idea that they want us to do it first, even though we are the beginners. That 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 that, that kind of lets you know, I guess. I guess you could look at it from both ways. We are the trendsetters. We did start it first as far as just being here first. They need the original people to take the virus so it can help the other people, the hybrids, the 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 the, the mixtures of other uh human bouquets or you know, people kind of get together. It's 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 complicated, but it's not. Really it's not. Okay. And I, I realize that they have a sister that actually cr- uh, helped create the vaccine, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, kudos to the sister. But like I said, I hope you're really doing it out of righteousness and not because these, high, you know, these Europeans are behind you pushing an agenda to, you know, like I said, rid of the original people of the planet. Because they did it in the past and then turned around after, you know, in the in the 60s or the 50s or whatever and gave our brothers syphilis and stuff and left them with that disease. And the women, they used to cut open without using, um, you know, an, an anesthetics or, or, or not anesthetics or anesthesia, you know, like wouldn't put us to sleep. We would just go through the pain. So our history with the medical field, it just ain't. We ain't too happy with y'all. Like, y'all was savage and probably still are savage, just in a more conservative, liberal type of way. You know, I, 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 I have trust issues with, with these things due to history and the fact that they hid it from us and the fact that they never told us. I had to discover this as an adult researching on my own. My mother never knew about this. I educated her. Get it? So you can't be upset at us for being paranoid of you, for wanting to inject us with a shot that we don't even know what the hell's in it, really. I know I read something in there about um, it could change your DNA structure, and I don't really want my DNA changed. Um, I don't want nothing done to my DNA, because if my ancestors didn't put it, you know, if I, if it didn't come from the divine and... It wasn't in my, I wasn't born with it. I don't want you putting nothing foreign in my body, you know, trying to play God with my life, you know, because you're not my God. You know, you're not my God. Every individual has a free will and a right to coexist and be their own person. So with that being said, um, I don't know what to say about the shot coming. I know they're about to push it on everybody. They're starting with the essential workers, people that work in the hospitals. One day, I just have a feeling that they're going to try to make this a mandatory thing to where you will not be able to work a job or things as such without having this this vaccine. I hope they don't do that. I hope they don't take away free will and the rights of others. I mean, I just really hope that give the people a choice to decide and don't bully or pressure them into taking it if they feel like they don't need to. My biggest solution for the people all over, preventive care. Eat right. Exercise. If you eat right and you exercise and you, and you take care of yourself, you take preventative measures from catching diseases. But if you eating all this bull crap and just just doing stuff and not taking care of yourself and all these drugs, lowering your immune systems and things as such, yeah, you're going to get hit with some sicknesses. And the environment in your body depends on what's going to grow in that, you know? And that's just a little bit from studying medical astrology, which a lot of the ancients used to use back in the day. Did you know a lot of the doctors, even, um, I think they take a Hippo- Hippocrates or Crat. Hippocrates, oh, or I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right, but I know they take an oath when they go to medical school. And I think they were saying that a lot of scholars and doctors and, and physicians back in those days studied medical astrology to understand the human body 
because our ancestors used to study astrology to understand the human psyche, the human body, because as above, so below. Man cannot tamper with nature. He cannot tamper with the four elements. He cannot tamper with the planets. It, it, it does what it do, and man has no influence over it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So a lot of our people, our ancestors, excuse me, went by the natural ways. A lot of doctors went by that. Bet a lot of people didn't know that, huh? It's crazy, huh? How you don't know stuff until you go and you look for things and you research on your own. You find out so many things that have been hidden from you. And you're like, what the hell, man? Like, why didn't we ever know about these things? But anyway, um, I'm going to cut this kind of short because low-key, I'm kind of at work. <laughs> Not at work, but I'm talking while I'm on break. But, you know, I got to kind of get back to what I'm doing. But um, I just wanted to, you know, take time to do this little quick podcast and say what's up to everyone out there, especially people that are listening to me. You know, I apologize for, you know, the absence. I'll be back. I'm coming back. It's just, like I said, I, I'm coming back with a lot of information and, you know, all types of things to you know, help my people, especially um, with things that we should be knowing and things that we probably should have learned um, back, you know, in school instead of all the things we were indoctrinated with. We should have been learning our culture about the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, the actions behind the astrology, the zodiac, the you know, the uh, the the personalities, and we would probably better have we would probably have a better life because we could reach our full potential due to our natal charts or our astrology charts that we read. We could we could start as you know off as far as small as children and babies and kind of shape the lives according to the chart of that individual. Okay, it's a lot of things in your chart that tells you what you're going to be when you grow up. A lot of your children display these talents while they're young. Pay attention to them. If they have a certain love for something and you see them doing it all the time and you see that they they really enjoy it, invest in it because that's going to be their bread and butter. That's their God given natural talents that was bestowed upon them by the universe, the planets, the, the personalities. OK, that's a gift. Everything that I used to do as a child that I was into, I realized I'm into as an adult and I would prefer to be doing that in my life. But because I didn't have the knowledge and my parents didn't have the knowledge and nobody knew about this, I ended up working a job, which I'm currently working on to get out of. Cause you know, honestly, I would like to start my own uh, metaphysical practice where I'm, I, I make homemade candles, uh, planetary elemental candles and I just been studying the cycles, the timing, um, the, the, the correspondences that goes with the planets and things like that. So I've been really busy just getting a lot of knowledge to be able to open up my store and be able to sell these products to my customers when they do start to, um, come, you know, when I do start to put out my product for sale, um, I'll be talking about it. I'll even, you know, when I put my um, website back up, my Swarthy Communicate site, because it's down right now. I've been doing some repairs to it and I wanted to come back brand new, you know, might just bring a whole new site, you know, but Swarthy, the spiritual more, that's that's who I am. Still Swarthy Communicate. I just changed it up to spiritual because I feel like my my approach is more on a spiritual basis you know, historical basis than just being a regular podcast that talks about stuff. I like to talk about uh, magic, laws of nature, you know, everything I learn, I like to share with my with my um, listeners. So that's what I've been doing these last uh, few months, um, just really getting everything together. And I, like I said, I just wanted to take time to talk about this daggone uh, vaccine and I'm just saying, like, really ask questions um, when it comes or when it pertains to this vaccine, because they came up. This, this virus came out of nowhere like a thief in the night. Then all of a sudden this vaccine popped up. And then uh, prior to I have another ser uh, uh, podcast on this 
um, in here somewhere talking about how Google or uh, you Google um, the actual disease and the patent came up. So to me, that's suspicious right there. How the hell you got a patent for the disease and the vaccine? Somebody already had the vaccine in the UK, supposedly. But they're trying to say, oh, that was coronavirus strand this or corona strand of strand virus strand that. Honestly, people, and I'm going to just keep it 100 at the way they the way I'm researching things and the way I'm seeing how they lied to us about everything. I don't believe a damn word they say. I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't. I'm sorry. And I'm already kind of semi paranoid, too. And I got a schizophrenic grandma. Come on. I'm already, I already got trust issues, but I mean, when my, we got to learn how to start trusting our instinct and that's what I've been doing. I've been really intuitive, like trusting my instinct and I end up being right a lot of times, you know, I really do. And I I got, what we have to do is learn how to stop doubting ourselves and really trust the divine to direct us where we need to go. Listen, get quiet, listen, and let the divine direct you to where you need to go. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, let me get ready and get up off this podcast. Hey, it was nice hanging with y'all. Swarthy Communicate up for discussion. Look for me coming with more podcasts, um, maybe once a once a week or maybe, you know, once a month. I'm not sure, but I will be dropping podcasts um, all throughout uh, 2021. I'll be back January 2021. And, um... You all have just a safe um, rest of the, I'm not going to call it the, 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 the year because the real new year is in April. Like we just going into a cold ass winter. And one more message I would like to relay is a shift coming and um, Jupiter and um, Saturn is going to conjunct and it will be, uh, you'll be able to uh, see it in the sky with your visible eye um, on December 21st. So be on the lookout for that, you know, look into the skies. You'll be able to see it. Wish I had a big ass telescope. I really do. But or or a telescope camera, you know, where I could still, you know, get a good picture. But I know science, somebody out there going to get a good pic of that. Um, But during this December um, 21st move, it's, it's going to be a shift. That is going to take place. And the shift that is going to take place is basically all your bullshit in your life. All the things that mean you no good. All the negative people. You're just going to find yourself. You're going to find people falling away. Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna, you, know, you, have to, you have to break all your bad habits. You have to get rid of all the things that is not serving you nor fallen humanity. <laughs> we're going into like a new wave. Like we're going into like a new you know, it's a new day now. You know, it's time to, to heal. It's time to learn our culture. It's time to come together. It's time to save the babies and the youth. It's time. It's time. We've been sitting around for too long watching this go down. And now we know what's really going on. It's time to do something about it. You know? So, like I said, once again, this is Swarthy Communique. Nice speaking with y'all. Peace. Time for change.